IDPs from Western Tugai who have taken refuge in Adugdam town say they were forced to leave their residence behind because of the atrocities that were being committed on them by the Ethiopian National Defense Forces and their allies. <laughs> I used to be a farmer and own properties in Western Tigray, but I left everything behind in the afternoon of November 7, 2020 and escaped the atrocities committed on us. First, the Ethiopian forces came, then the so-called Fan of Vigilante group, followed by the special forces of Amhara, came and took away all our cattle and properties. Then we fled without any of our belongings. <laughs> I used to be a farmer. I used to have an enormous harvest that I had to use a truck to transport it. I've lost seven of my children and all my properties. I don't know whether my children are alive or not. 57 people who were with us were killed by airstrike at night. We were asleep in an IDP camp. They also set ablaze eight houses and throw a bomb on the people who were inside. Even now, they are displacing many people from that area. People under the age of 60 are being incarcerated and those who are older are fleeing. Our children are left there. The so-called Fano vigilantes have invaded the area. By the time we were running away, they took many youth to the wilderness and shot and killed them. They also were threatening us to give them money. The IDPs explained that they are not getting humanitarian assistance they needed, and as a result, they are on starvation and unable to access medical care as well. What's happening to the people of Tigray is unheard of. Due to many reasons, medical supplies and food aid is not reaching the people of Tigray. Pregnant and lactating mothers are in a dire situation. Many people are starving today's our children's feet are swelling up due to the starvation they have faced <laughs> Whenever we got sick, we can't afford to pay for our medical bills. Medications are not available either. We don't have any food to eat. We are in an extremely desperate situation. Thus, we urge for life-saving humanitarian assistance now. 